Hi, my name is Barry and I'm um, 34 and I'm from Glasgow. Um, I'm obsessed with dogs uh, and I am the biggest music lover. Um, going to gigs is just like my favourite thing in the world. Um, I'm also a huge just, like foodie. Um, me and my husband have like, a pizza oven and that's like our absolute like obsession. I never had a primary diagnosis. I keep forgetting that. I was diagnosed straight to, straight to secondary. Um, so mine's is like ER, PR, positive, HER, negative. I had suffered from back pain and it was during COVID and you weren't allowed to see any doctors or anything. And it was maybe about kind of November, December time and I started taking like spasms in my back. And um, it was ongoing from like the doctors back and forward and they thought that it was down to because I was a runner, that I was just putting strain on my back. And then maybe February time it started to get like pretty worse um, and I couldn't like, I could walk properly. And I went to the hospital, but because I was complaining about the pain in my right leg, they x-rayed just my right leg and there was nothing there. So they just thought, it, again, it was maybe just like a kind of injury that I had and the pain was getting worse and worse. And I remember the day I got carried pretty much in to see the sports therapist and she looked at my legs and noticed that there was like bruising all down my legs. And then she told me to go to an emergency and they took me for a scan and um, they came back and they said that there was just, I just lit up and what they had suspected was um, I had spinal compression. So they didn't know what kind of cancer or anything it was, but they knew that there was tumours in my spine. They then um, contacted the Beatson. So within 24 hours, I was kind of blue lighted to the Beatson and I had kind of targeted radiotherapy in, in two areas. At that point, I met my oncologist as an inpatient and I got a, a biopsy and she knew she could already tell what type of cancer um, I had. So um, I had that biopsy. So I was in there for five days. Then after five days, um, I went back to the main hospital and I got hip replacement. It's a, a long story to a diagnosis. The biggest impact that my diagnosis has had is that I am no longer able to to be a teacher. I, I was a teacher for 11 years. Um, I was a design and technology teacher and I loved it and it was really kind of everything that I I knew. Um, I don't have kids, it was just, my work was my, my sole focus. Um, but um, with my mobility, you know, I, I do get sore. I mean, the fact that, you know, my immune system isn't as great going back into that type of environment was was not the correct option, which took me a while to kind of come to terms with because I was stubborn and I, I was convinced that I was going to go back into that school, but um, it's not the right thing. You know, I am 34. I was diagnosed when I was 33. Cancer doesn't discriminate. You know, um, I found a whole world of girls my age that have what I have. I just quite like to show that like, you know, someone my age who started off with such a kind of traumatic start to it, can still come out the other side of it and still live a normal life and still have a laugh and still look at things in a positive side and still have those kind of loves and passions and, and those things don't change. And, um, if I can help just kind of like other people to realise that you can still be that person that you once were mm -hmm. just with that, you know, some strong drugs along, this, <laughs> along the way then, great.